episode of the Respect to Risk Rock Climbing Mentor Series. Today we're going to cover Piton Craft. Uh, we got a likely to ever be used as a climbing cliff if you want to practice. This is really uh, what I would call almost an alpine rock climbing skill set. A uh, bit of a lost art, I think, uh, in some cases. Uh, today it really is, you know, for piton craft, placing pitons on limestone, uh, really is for alpine rock climbs where uh, there's a lot fewer vaults or no vaults in lots of cases. Years ago, when I, uh, 25 years ago, when I was climbing, we uh, the ethic was place as few bolts as possible, so we ended up having quite a rack of pins. So we've got, you know, what I would call a pretty standard rack uh, uh, pins. Uh, generally speaking, if you were on lead, you wouldn't have more than. Uh, Here is a knife blade. You can see that one's been used. Um, a couple of different sizes of blade. This would be a smaller, this would be a medium. Um, a lost arrow. This, you know, and the thinner one could be a valuable pin. The, uh, the baby angle, uh, particularly good for uh, rotten cracks. Um, the uh, little stubby, uh, stubby, stubby lost arrows longer blade, the other side is a lost arrow. And these channel, uh, the channel pins uh, could be good for uh, for rotten cracks uh, as well. Uh, so we're just gonna, we're gonna start with, uh, you know, a couple of things. We'll take, we'll take this as, you know, probably not a bad selection. I got my rock hammer here. So, you know, one of the things, here you go, you know, you're on an alpine route you're going to see a crack like this, one of the first things you want to look for is, you know, just how attached this thing is. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad. You know, we're going to hit it. It actually sounds solid, but I would be cautious of this. You know, it's, if I was going to put a pin in here, I'd, I'd pick, the, uh, pick the lost arrow here and uh, someone's going to take a downward pull. You know, the, this is a pretty clean track. The, the lost arrow is actually going in, you know, a good distance. So you're going to want to pick, pick and choose where, like, see, that's pretty thin there, right? That rock could break off and you can actually hear that. That's not the best. There's solid rock. This is hollow. So, you know, you, you might stick a pin in there. Uh, and, uh, okay, so we just bounced out, so we're hitting something in there. Um, so that's, that's not going in. Here, it's not, it's not really biting well at all, so, you know, if you want to pick something else. You want to be careful you don't drop the pins when you're on, when you're climbing. So, you know, a little, uh, okay, that's, that would be, that would be crap, right? Fuck yeah, that's that's garbage. So we're gonna we don't like this crack. Um, you know, it it would be a last resort. You know, you might you, know, you might uh, yeah. See that? Look at that. The rock just busted away there. So. Get that ringing sound. I don't like this. It's probably going to bust off. You can actually hear the hear this whole flake moving. Um, you know that would be a last resort. So you might you might you might take that pin uh, and you'd you'd pound it the rest of the way in if you really needed it. 
but boy you're not going to be too happy about it now getting them out i like to have this little lever tool you know so you can stick it in and kind of lever them to get them out that's helpful um, so we're going to look around and this is real like i haven't pre-inspected this 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 cliff here uh, you can see some of the drill holes from when they blasted this, so this stuff isn't that weathered. Um, you know, okay, there's a crack here. Notice how this is basically detached. So I might get a blade in there, it doesn't sound bad, but you gotta keep in mind that, you know, this thing is uh, actually got a fracture underneath it. So, you know, we might, uh, we might try it. And this is one of those, uh, you know, it's one of those things, you know, limestone climbing, you gotta, it's actually kind of a bit of a dentist sometimes, you know, you gotta feel for where the cracks are, you might, you know, you, limestone you know you're you're sometimes you're, you know it, it does damage the rock I don't mind telling you right like it, there's no there's no getting around it um, so we're continuing to hammer that guy in and it's it is going in okay so and I'm getting it in it's not the best wild ring in the world you know this is uh you know it is fractured okay so now i got one here and i got one there and they're on different fracture lines so if this piece busts off that piece is going to stay in but i'm still not really happy okay so i got a blade i got a lost arrow Really, if I was bringing my buddy up, uh, you know, I'm still not happy, right? And you know, this is this is junk here. Like that's just gonna fracture. Uh, I'm still not happy. Um, so you gotta kind of expand your mind. And I'm gonna show you in another video how the best way to uh, to uh, tie these together is. But. You know, this is an absolutely bomber, and I wouldn't say that is either. So we're gonna try to go, let's see what else we can find. And I'll tell you, sometimes I would ha end up having, you know, six or seven pieces, you know, six, six, six uh, pitons that I drill in. So that crack up there, you know, it's uh, like a good sign. We'll see if I can get to it here. It's, it's cold. I don't have my rock shoes on, <laughs> but uh, let's see if I can get out with it. Okay, the last 
Ballesteros. Can I get a, a good spot here? here for the next pin so this is live this is exactly what I'd be doing on lead all this is fucking sorry uh, this is all crap uh, and I'm gonna have to find let me get my next uh, cluster here So, you know, this is uh, thin, so let's just, I might be able to get something in there. So this is uh, one of these where you got to try it, you know, like the pin's not going in, but it's what I call playing the dentist. So, okay. It's, Starting to bite, getting a bit of a bite. Let me just see if I can get it in any further here. Back in the bottom of it. I don't know, let's see. Okay, it might bounce out, so you gotta be careful. But a bit. So it's kind of bottoming in there. Bottoming. So not too happy with that. But uh, okay what about here? You know some of these muddy muddy holes sometimes. Nope, not, not getting anything there. In there. Let's see. Oh, oh, let's see. Uh, there's some little bit of dirt and moss. Is something gonna get in there now? Uh, right there. Nope. You get the idea. happen when you climb. Okay, wait a minute, what's this? Okay, let's see. Is there something here? Bottoming, bottoming, bottoming. How about here? I tried that already. I think I tried that already. So 
So it's pretty thin, pretty thin here, pretty thin. Let's let's see. Uh, okay, and this is kind of real life, real drama here. Uh, we're looking for one more piece. One more. What about this? Now this almost looks like it could be a, a baby angle type territory. Get one of the baby angles here. This one goes in. So we're you see the dirt and the crack there. Let's just try this. This baby angles had quite a bit of use. You can see I've I've welded it in somewhere else in this piton's life. Okay, so starting. There we go. Okay. That's uh, uh Piton is uh starting to hear it, starting to sing a bit. The hammer starting to bounce. Let's see. So not uh no, it's not the best pin in the world, uh, but the angle's good, so you might tie that one off as a backup. So let's just leave that one in, and we'll get another baby angle, and we'll try a different spot in the crack. See if I can get something here. You know, I thought... There is a crack there. Let's see what I can get here. Let's try this. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Singing and singing. Singing. And okay. Come on you. You mother. You know? Okay. You know we're we're digging a little trench here, uh, and uh, but we're, we are getting a bite, and it's singing, and I would say this guy is better than the other one, and uh, this is a nice, you know, it's not a bad piece of looking a rock here so giving it this last little bit here okay so now feel that thing's not so now I got one I tie that off tie that one off one two come over to here we got three, we got four, we got five. Okay, you know what? These two are on the same fracture line, but given that it was the baby angle, uh, I'd probably, if I was fussed, I'd leave those. And uh, stitch them together here, right? So I got one, two, three, four, five up there. Now I got a five piece station and uh, it's beyond what I would do, just tell you, I'd go up with the lead rope, clip that one, clove hitch it, go up to that one, clove hitch it, come back to me, clove hitch it to my harness, go up to this one, clove hitch, down, like tip clip those together and create a bit of a spider web. The whole thing's an easy bench. But uh, that gives you a flavor for very real scenario on a big alpine rock climb. You know, to trust this flake all by itself would be a mistake. To trust this one by itself would be a mistake. That one, you know, all these put together, they give you kind of an anchor. And uh, 